Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Imaginary Engineering. This is Kirti. Today in this video, we are going to build Spring Boot application. This is my first Spring Boot video. If you are beginner, then this video really gonna help you. So watch this video till the end. Before we start, let me show you the app. This is the home page. If I click on the home, we redirect to the same page. Then I click on this available books. Here we can see all the available books. We simply retrieve the data from the table and show in table format. We have the two tables book and my underscore book. Inside this book, if I run the select query, we have the five records ID, author, name and price. We fetch this record and display in a table format here. User can also make their own book list by click on this add to my book button if i show you this table my books there is a no record right now as soon as i click on this add to my book button that book is added to the list here we can see that book id 1 now if i click on this book id 3 here we can see that it successfully added. If I show you in table, my underscore books. Here two, we can see two records are added here. Now, user can also remove any book by clicking on this delete icon. We can register the new book, provide the name, author and price. Click on the submit button. Now here we can see book ID 6. The data is successfully insert. Now if you user want to edit, user can edit this book. Change the price. 2000 then we can change the author name. And click on the submit. Here we can see the price is changed, price and author is changed. Now your user can also delete the book by clicking on this delete icon. Before we start let me give the brief introduction about the Spring Boot. Today we are going to build this bookstore management web application using the Spring Boot, Thamlib, JPA and MySQL database. If you don't know about this Thamlib, JPA, don't worry I will explain this. Spring Boot is a Java framework which contains the all the features of Spring. In Spring, we use the annotations like a component scan, auto add, all these annotations we used in the Spring Boot also. It provides the rapid application development. It helps the developer to focus on the logic instead of struggling for the configuration as setup. Like if you take the example of Spring MVC. In Spring MVC, we have to configure the dispatcher servlet, view resolver, all this configuration we have done manually but because of spring boot we can do this very quickly it automatically configure we in spring boot provide the embedded tomcat server also here we have the three layers or uh, maybe you have familiar with this layer at a controller layer first request is accept from the client client may be any browser or user in service layer, we write our business logic and repository or DAO layer, we perform the all the database related operation, fetch the data from database. Then here are the some dependency which we need for our project. First is a Spring Web which used to create a web application. Then second is a Thamlib. Thamlib is a Java site template engine which is capable to processing the XML, HTML, JavaScript 
basically we use this to create our view pages so next dependency is spring data jpa jpa stand for the java persistence api which are basically orm tool object relational mapping in orm tool is uh, we can say that it is placed between the application and database when we store any object into the database that we give that object to the orm orm convert that object into the sql queries and save into the database we don't need to write any sql queries when we fetch any row from database orm converted into the object and return back to us we are going to use the mysql database so we need this dependency mysql database next we have the dev tools which used for automatic restart whenever we made some changes it scan the class path and automatically restart our application we don't need to restart it's like the live server which we used in the visual studio so these are the dependency we need let's start our coding i'm going to use this sts spring tool suit you can use any other id go to the google and search for spring initializer then click on this start.spring.io here we have to choose the project i'm going to choose maven project then spring boot version add a group name you can choose any group name com.bookstore artifact id to identify our project then add package name and description here i'm giving this is the bookstore project then we have the two options for packaging jar or or i choose the jar and choose the java version then we need some dependencies so search for spring web add this dependency then we search for tham leaf then third dependency that we need is a spring data jpa mysql for mysql database then we add dev tools now we added all the dependency now we click on this generate button it will download the zip file now we simply extract this zip file we go back to our id and import that project click on the import choose the existing maven project go to that directory then click on the finish it takes some time to import the project after project successfully import we go to the bookstore application here we can see we add the annotation spring boot application this is basically the combination of the three annotation configuration enable auto configuration and component scan component scan that scan of the component configuration that return the pins and enable auto configuration that enable the auto configuration then if you go to the pom.xml here we can see the dependency which we added spring boot starter data jpa then we have the spring boot starter theme leaf starter web and spring boot dev tools and this is the mysql dependency now here we can see inside this maven dependency all the jars files are present inside this resource we have this static template and application dot properties now we create the package controller 
click on the finish now we create a another package entity then we create a package for our repository then last one we create a package for the service now we have the four package controller entity repository and service now inside this controller package we create a class book controller click on finish here we have the book controller class we add the annotation controller so that indicate this class belong to the controller we need to import controller spring framework dot stereo type dot controller now we use the gate mapping annotation to make the gate request inside the parenthesis we provide our path here i add a slash create a method public home which return the string and here we return our page home now we save it and import this uh, web dot bind dot annotation i remove this gate mapping and add a asterisk so it will import all the classes now we create this home page inside this template folder right click on new then go to the others choose the html file click on next we call it home click on finish here we create a home.html file we simply add one h1 tag here and display some text home page now we save the file then we run our application here we get this error fail to configure the data source url uh, this error because if we go to our pom.xml here we add the dependency which we not used it so we simply comment this dependency data jpa and mysql dependency then we save it we don't need to restart because we add the dependency dev tools it automatically reload our application whenever it find the, some changes it scan the class path and whenever it find some changes it automatically restart our application now our application is running on port 8080 so here we write localhost 8080 port the home page is display now if you want to change the port we can change it go to our application dot properties file and simply write server dot port here i am writing 1001 port number now here we changing our port 1001 still that home page is display now we go to our book controller before that uh, we go to our home.html and add a styling i am using the bootstrap file click on the first link click on this getting started here we get a starter template 
we simply copy this and paste it here replace this title bookstore then we remove the additional comment now we write a code inside this body tag first we add the new bar so we go back and search for the new bar here we get this code we simply copy this code come back to sts and copy this new bar we simply remove the unnecessary things just be careful while removing this tag tag must be close then we save it now we go back to our and check here we can see the new bar we want it dark so we change the background b to dark we want the text white so we add a class text white change the name bookstore then here uh, we add a class text white for home then we change it to the available books and add a class text white now we copy this and paste we add a my books we create uh, another div and one, add one anchor tag copy this and simply paste it here and add a new book register now we save this and refresh here we can see now we add a another tag div for a content add a class container inside this we add a class text center add a vh1 tag for heading welcome to new bookstore then we add a h6 tag inside this we add some text here i have some text i copy this and paste it here now save it and refresh the page here we can see we need a margin top and bottom so we add a class my my file margin file now we want to add one image so inside this static folder we create a new folder images click on finish then we, we need this image we copy this image and paste it inside this images folder now we add one image tag yes as attribute we provide the path images 
slash pg.png now we save the file and refresh here we can see the image but it's too large we can set the width equal to 360 pixel now if I refresh it's become small now it looks nice so I go back to our STS now inside this entity package we create class book click on finish then we add the annotation entity it's not showing any suggestion because we comment the dependency so we uncomment all the dependency data gp and mysql and we save it now here it gives a suggestion import the class entity now we import the entity class we create the attribute id we add the annotation id so it indicate that this id attribute is the id for our table we import the id class then we add the another annotation generate value for auto increment id strategy equal to generation type dot identity then we import generate value class then we create another attribute name private string author and private string price then we add a constructor right click and go to the source generate a constructor for all the fields then we generate a constructor for super class generate a getter setter method then we save this and go to our application dot properties we configure this application dot properties we provide our database name data source dot name we give the name book then data source dot url jdbc colon mysql colon slash localhost colon 3306 slash book book is our database name question mark server time zone equal to utc then we provide our password and username spring dot data source dot username in my case username is root here provide your username and password data source dot password equal to root then data source dot driver class name com dot mysql dot cj dot jdbc dot driver then we add hibernate dot ddl auto update it will automatically create a table in our database book 
then we add jpa dot properties dot dialect hibernate dot dialect equal to we go to a, any java class control shift t then we search for class mysql here we have the 57 dialect you can choose any we copy this package name and paste it here and we copy this class name mysql 57 dialect and paste it here now we configure our application dot properties now save it now if you go back and here if i refresh this page it's working fine Now we go to our home.html page inside the templates. Inside this HTML tag, we provide the path for the, our theme leaf. th equal to https colon slash www.themleaf.com Now we save it. We need to provide this path because we are going to use the themleaf. Now next we want when we click on this new book register we redirect to the another page where we can field all the book information. So inside this href tag, href, we write a book register. We need to redirect this our request to this book register path. So we go to our book controller and add a get mapping. Here we provide the path book register. Create a method public string. book register here we return the page book register let's create this page inside the templates click on new here choose the html file and create a page book register click on finish now here I simply write book register inside the h1 tag save it if I go and refresh here I click on this book register you can see the URL book register is display now we go to our home.html now this home you want to when user click on the home it will direct to the same page so we use the slash for available book we use the path available underscore book So we go to the our controller class at the get mapping request and provide the path available books create a method public which return the string get all book 
रिटर्न बुक लिस्ट पेज नाउ वी गो टू अवर टेम्पलेट्स एंड क्रिएट अ पेज बुक लिस्ट राइट क्लिक ऑन न्यू चूज द ऑर्डर एस टी एम एल फाइल नेम इट बुक लिस्ट क्लिक ऑन फिनिश एंड सिंपली यश वन टैग एंड आई एम एडिंग सम टेक्स्ट इयर डिस्प्ले बुक लिस्ट सेव इट नाउ इफ आई रिफ्रेश द पेज एंड क्लिक ऑन होम वी रिडायरेक्ट इन सेम पेज इफ आई क्लिक ऑन अवेलेबल बुक्स हियर वी कैन सी द डिस्प्ले बुक्स पेज नाउ इफ आई क्लिक ऑन न्यू बुक रजिस्टर वी कैन सी बुक रजिस्टर Now click on home dot html. We simply copy all this code and paste inside the book register. And we same code paste in the book list dot html. Now inside this book register, we remove this content. Now if we go and check. Here we can see the new bar is added. Now we add one form. So we we'll go to our Bootstrap file and search for the form. Here we copy this template code. Go to our STS. and here we add one new class container sorry this is not a class name this is a class and we copy this code format the code then then we change the for name name make it name then we remove all the unnecessary things make the type text then we copy this div and remove this div and paste our div then we change the for name for author then we change it to the price then we add an attribute name this name attribute must be same as the we provided in our entity class so here we provide the name name equal to author name equal to price and repeat again this name should be equal to the name we provided in the entity class then inside inside this, the form tag we add a class call md4 offset md4 so the form will be in center now it looks nice then we add margin top and bottom so we add a class cmy provide the margin for margin then we add some styling we add a border border 1 pixel solid black 
now we save it and refresh the page here we can see we need to add padding so we add a class p provide a padding 5 if i refresh here we can see we on this button in center so we add a center tag inside this center tag we paste our button then if we refresh now button in center here this address is display we remove this address now inside this h4 tag we add a heading new book register you want it in center so add a class text center now we save it and refresh here we can see our form is ready now we go back to our book list dot html in this we want to display all the records in table format so we go to our bootstrap and search for table so we simply copy this table template we add a div class container inside this div we paste our table now we copy this and paste it here and we add another class table over now if I click on available book here we can see the table we want a margin then here we replace this id then we have a column name then we have the author and price then we add another heading for action then we copy this and paste it now we save it we go back and refresh the page here we can see column id name author price and action go back to our sts inside this application.properties file we provide our database configuration data source.name this is our database name which is book if i show you on my sql workbench here we have the database called book inside this we have the table if i show you on cmd go to our program files then mysql folder inside this bin folder we open the cmd then we type the command mysql hyphen u username root hyphen p enter the password now we connect to our mysql command show databases which return the, all the databases which is present here we can see our database book now we switch to our book database use the command use book now 
uh, we use the command show tables that show all the tables which are present in book database here we can see book table present in book database because our entity is book so that hibernate.dtl statement that automatically create a book table inside our book database then we go to our repository package and create an interface book repository click on finish now i go to the book repository this uh, book repository interface extend jpa repository interface this JPA repository interface basically extend the curl repository which provide the basic functionalities like the save, update, delete and JPA repository provide the more functionalities. It take the two things first data type and second is data type of ID. In our case data type of ID is integer so we write an integer. We need to import this JPA repository class from repository package. Then we import this book class from entity package. Now we go to our service package and create a class book service. Click on finish. Then we go to our book repository. Uh, we forget to add the annotation repository which indicate that repository class now we import that repository package we go back to our book service class here we add the service annotation which indicate that this class is belong to service and then we import this service package inside this we create a method save to save the object into our database here we pass the book object we need the book repository object to call the method save so first we create the object use the annotation auto wired we import that uh, auto wired package then we create an object of book repository We import that book repository package then here you can see all this method we get delete all delete all by id find all we get a lot of methods to save the object we use the save method which take the one argument that is object here we pass our book object now we save it and we go to our book register inside this form tag we need to provide the action and method here we use the method post inside this action we provide the path when we submit the form we redirect to this path to handle this request we go to our book controller Now we use the annotation post mapping to handle our post method. Inside the parenthesis, we provide that path slash save. We create the method add book which return the string. Add the right model attribute actually return the form data in our book object. This send the data from view to controller. We import the book class from entity package. Then next we want to save this book object in our database. So we call the save method which is present in our book service class. So call this method. We need a book service object. So we create object. Use the annotation auto wired. 
create a book service object import that book service class from service package then here we call this save method service dot save and here pass our book object now we return this page we redirect to the available book now we save it refresh the page and if i click on this new book register here we provide the name and before that i will show you the content of book table now this book table is empty so here provide the name of the book then author ab and i provide the price a hundred then click on the submit here we redirect to this available books now if we go and check the book table we can see the data is successfully added if i open the mysql workbench and go to the book database here we have the book table we run the select query here here we can see that the data is successfully added now we go back and now next we want to fetch that data in table format so we go to our book service and create a method public which return the list of object get all books import this java.util package for list then here we return list of book object here we get all this method find all find all by id this find all by id method return the specific record and find all method return the all the records from database we need the all the records so we use the find all method now we go back to our book controller here we have the method get all book which return the string we return the book list view page now we want to send the data from our controller to view so we change the return type model and view we import this model and view class we call our that get all book method in book service which return the all the list of book object then we create an object of model and view we import this list package and we import the wrong package you should have java.util package then here we create a model and view object And we return that object yum. Now we set our view name. Here we pass our page name that we want to show. Book list. Uh, this is not a set view method. It should have set view name method. So we change it to the set view name. Now we call add object method, which take a two things: key value pair. A book here I write a book you can use the any name and here we return our data list now instead of writing this three lines of code we can do this in one line we simply pass the object of model and view and use the parameter as constructor first here we pass our view page book list then pass the name 
book you can use the any and the third is list now we save it and here first uh, we need to make the changes in our book list so we go to our book list here i remove this extra things and inside this tr i use the thamlif do th colon each we receive the data in this book variable now we remove this text inside the td tag we add th colon text dollar inside the braces b dot id now same thing we copy and paste it to show the book name then we have the author and price for action we add a button so here we add another td tag inside this anchor tag we add a class equal to btn btn secondary then we want a small button so btn small add to my book button now we save it and check let me refresh the page we got our error page let's go back to our sts and check what is the error here i have missed the dollar so now i save it and refresh the page here we successfully retrieve the data from database now we want this table in center so we go to our book list and add a class called md6 now we refresh the page now table in center but uh, it is not looks good we remove this extra header tier shared tag here we remove this line now we save it again and check if i refresh here we can see now it looks fine we go back and now we create another html file right click on new click on others here we choose this html file if you don't see this html file option go to the help click on install new software select uh, latest eclipse release wait for some time now here we can see this options choose the last one web xml java enterprise edition ohli now uh, if you don't see this option here just select all available sites it will uh, shows the all the available and choose that option now we create a html file click on the html file write a name my books finish click on finish here inside the body tag we add a h1 tag and add some text my book list now save it now we go to our home here inside this my books href we provide a path my books we handle this path in our book controller so we go to our book controller add a notation gate mapping to handle the gate method provide a path my underscore books now we create a method gate my books which return the string now here we return my books page now we save it if i click on the home we redirect to home page and click on this my books we redirect to our my books page we 
copy this my underscore book go to our book list new bar here we replace this hash to my underscore books then we go to our book register new bar now here we remove this hash and add my underscore books now we go to our now if i refresh here we can see we redirect to page my books now now we go to our book list and copy all this copy all the code and we go back to our my books dot html here we remove this all and paste our code right now i comment this t body now we save it if i refresh here we can see new bar is added and table is the display we go back to our sts then we go to our entity class create a new entity my book list click on finish here my book list class is created we add a annotation entity that mark our class is an entity so it will create a my book list table in database we import our entity class from package javax.persistence inside this we add a some attribute private integer id then private string name private string author then we add private string price we add uh, then for a id attribute we add a annotation id that indicate that this is our primary key for table we import the id class uh, here we not add the annotation generate value because here id is not automatically generate we store that id corresponding to the book which we select a table annotation is used to provide the more information related to the table so by default it will take a class name as a table name but we can change it using the annotation table here we add the table annotation and provide the name equal to my books so it will create a my books table inside the book database we import this table class from the javax.persistence now we generate a constructor click on the source and generate a constructor for fields now we generate a constructor for super class generate a data set a method select all and click on generate here now we save it my books table is created in database if i show you here my underscore books table is created if i run the command show tables it shows the two tables book and my underscore books here we give the table name my books so it take my underscore books now we go to our package repository and create a new class my book repository and click on finish here we extends jpa repository interface we provide our data type my book list and data type of our id is integer so we write integer we import the jpa repository class then we import my book list from entity here we save it and we go to our service package and create a service my book list service click on finish 
then uh, we go back to a repository class here we need to import a repository annotation import the class repository now we save it come back to service class here we add a annotation service that indicate this is the service class import a service class from stereotype.service first we create a method save my book which save our object into the database for that we need a my book repository object so we create a my book list repository this is not my book list repository our class name is my book repository we change it to my book repository here we create a object of my book repository use the annotation auto wired then import that auto wired then we call the save method to save the object into the database which take a one argument that book or my book list object now we pass that book object inside the save method here if i go to the available books and click on this add to my book that book will be added to the my books table here if i show you the content of my books it is empty right now select as text from my books here the my books table is empty now we go back to our sts we go to our book list and for this add to my book button we provide the path in href at the rate inside this braces we provide a path my list slash id id is our b dot id now we save it now if you go and check if i click on this add to list button here we can see the page is not found but we can see the url my list slash id one now here we handle this my list id path inside our book controller we add a notation request mapping inside the parenthesis we pass the path slash my list slash id then we create a method public string get my list method which return the string return right now i am returning the empty string we use the at the rate path variable annotation so we can retrieve the our id here we retrieve the id from the url now we want to find a record based on that id so we go back to our book service and create one method public we should return the book object get book by id method here we pass id then return we use the find by id method which return the record based on the id we provide our id here now this will return the optional type value but we want a book object we call the method get which return the book object 
now we save it come back to our book controller class here we call that method get book by id and pass our id we should end the book object now we save this object to our my books class for that we need the save method which is present in a my book list service class to call this method we need the object of my book list service class here we create a object private my book list service we import that my book list service class now using this object we can call the method which is save my books which is present in the my book list service which take the book object as an argument now we go back to our book controller and call the method my book service dot save my books and here we pass our we need to pass object of my book list so we create a object of my book list inside the parenthesis we pass the book value book id b dot id then we call the get id get name get author and get price we pass this value to our my book list we import that my book list class now here we pass the object my book list then we return the page of my books we provide the path redirect colon slash my underscore books then we save it here if we see that my books table is empty right now if i refresh the page go to the available books and click on this button add to my book if i show you here we can see if we run the queries that data is successfully added if i show you on cmd now we can see that book is successfully added in my books table now next we want to retrieve that data in table format so we go back to our sts here inside this my book list service we provide the method to retrieve all the data public void we should return the list of my book list object get all my books return we call the method find all which return the all the records from database now here inside this get my books we call this method we need a object of this my book list service and we call the method get all my books which return the list of my book list object now we send that list to the page my book so here we use the model we call the method add attribute and pass our list we save it now we go to our my books we remove this comments here we receive the data in book variable and display id name author and price in action we remove this button add to my book and add a delete icon here so we can delete that book for icon i am going to use the font awesome i simply use this font awesome cdn 
and copy this in head you can get this serial by login into the font awesome now we go back to our font awesome and search for the icon trash here we get this one copy this and paste it here now i save it and go back refresh the page here we can see data is successfully display with icon but it, we want this icon in red color so we add a style color red now we save it and refresh the page here we can see icon color is changed now next we want when we click on this icon delete this record should be delete we go back to our sts go to our my book list service here we create a method public void delete by id which delete the record by id we pass our id then we call the method my book dot delete by id here we have the method delete all also which delete the all the records then we go to our controller package and create a new controller my book list controller and click on finish we add the annotation controller which indicate that this class is belong to controller we import that controller from spring framework dot stereotype dot controller now we go to our my books and here we provide the path for that icon so we can redirect to that path we add a slash delete my list slash id we provide a id equal to b dot id which is our book id now we save it here we provide this path delete my list slash id we go to our controller here we create a method public delete my list which return the string right now i am returning the empty string here then we add a notation request mapping here inside this we provide the path delete my list slash id then we use the at the rate path variable to retrieve that id we import the request mapping class and path variable then here we call this method for that we need a my book list service object so here we create private my book list service object add a notation auto wired import the class auto wired then here we call that method service dot delete by id and pass that id now we save it and here we want to redirect to the page if we go inside the book controller here we have the my book page which return the all the list of books which is present in database now we redirect to this path my underscore books we go to our book controller here we redirect to my underscore books now we save it now if i refresh this page if i click on this delete icon that record will be deleted if i go to the available books and click on this add to my book the record is added here and if i click on this delete icon that record will be deleted now we go to our sts then we go to our 
book list and here we add a uh, edit and delete option so inside this action we add a anchor tag and search for the delete icon here we go back to our font awesome here now we copy this path and paste it here then we search for the edit icon here we got this we copy this and paste it here now if i go and refresh here we can see that icon is not display uh, because we haven't add the cdn for, for font awesome we copy that cdn from our mybooks.html file with the script tag go to our booklist.html here we paste it now we save it and refresh the page we can see the icon now uh, we want to add the color here we add the style for trash we add a red color we put the trash after the edit so it looks nice for the edit icon we add a blue color style color blue then here we add some margin here we save the page and refresh here we can see the icon in color with margin now we go back to our sts and create a new html file for edit right click on a template click on new click on others and choose the html file create a new file book edit click on finish inside the body tag we add one h1 tag and add some text book edit now we save it go, we go to our my books dot html page here we provide the path for edit th colon href at the red presses here we add a path edit book slash id id equal to our b dot id which is our book id now we handle this path so we go to our my controller here we add the annotation request mapping inside the parenthesis we provide the path create one method edit book which return the string here we return our page book edit now we save it and refresh if i click on this edit icon we redirect to this edit book page here you can see the url edit book slash id then we come back to our book register we copy this all code go to our book edit and paste it here here i save it now if i refresh the page here we can see the new bar and form is display instead of this new book register we 
change it to edit book here now we save it and go to our book controller we add the at the rate path variable to retrieve that id integer id then here we go to our book service we call this get book by id method here we have the object service using this we call that method service dot get book by id and pass our id which return the book object now we send this book object to our view page book edit so here we use the model to send the data from our controller to view we call the method add attribute which take a key value pair here we pass the book we can use the any name and pass our object b now we save it and go to our book edit page inside this form tag we receive that book th colon object we receive the data in the book variable now we set the value for book name th colon value equal to book dot name then we set the value for author now we set the value for price book dot price we can change the any field name author price and click on the submit when we click on the submit we redirect the request to the path mentioned in the action here we add the path slash save we handle this request in our book controller so we go to our book controller here we can see inside this we call the save method and pass our new object book which update the record in the table now we save it and here we pass our id in hidden way type equal to hidden add a name equal to id and set a value for id is book dot id this name should be match with the attribute is it in this my book list class now we refresh the page here if i go to the available book and click on the edit icon here we can see the name author and price is automatically filled if i change the price author name and name and click on the submit we redirect to the available book and here you can see the value is updated now we go to our booklist.html and add a path for the delete href equal to at the rate 
braces slash delete book slash id provide id for the book so id equal to b dot id now we save it and handle this request in our book controller use the annotation request mapping inside the parenthesis we pass the path we create a method public delete book which return the string here we use the annotation path variable to retrieve the id id type is integer so int id here we redirect to the page available books now we go to our my book service here we have the here we go to a book service we create a method delete by id inside this we call the method delete by id which delete the specific record from database we pass the id here and save it we call this method we need this book service object service dot delete by id and pass our id and save it now if we refresh the page and click on this delete here we can see the record is deleted if i click on the new book register and add a new entry click on the submit here new book is added we can edit the value change the price click on submit here we can see the record is updated if we click on the add to my book that book is add to the list we can delete the any book by click on this delete icon this is the end of our video if this video help you let me know in the comment section if you want a more video like this don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you for watching